Tiny Sailor's World is a game about sailing ships. You may be wondering how the ships in the game are made, so I, one of the developers, will explain it to you and hopefully give you a better understanding of the work I do for this game. Before anything is done on Roblox, the head developer, Builder Elite, would give us developers a list of ships to model. We pick out the ship we'd like to model and are asked for a date when we'd like to start modeling since we have a specific amount of time to complete a ship commission. From there, I would reach out to other members of the Elite Studios community, or vice versa, to give me resources to model the ship. Such resources include hull form lines, deck plans, and images of the actual ship itself. These are necessary resources for a close to accurate depiction of the actual ship. Once I have all of the necessary resources to model the ship, I will begin modeling. All three developers, including myself, use a software called Blender to model the ship. I will not be doing any tutorials for now, that is, on how to model anything in Blender. We insert the schematics into the workspace and begin tracing resources such as the aforementioned hull form lines to have the hull of the model match up to the real ship. I typically start with the lower hull. The lower hull is separated into four parts. If you look at your vehicle statistics in game and your ship is flooding in certain areas, you'll notice all four sections highlighted by different colors indicating how severely flooded they are. Everything above the lower hull is split into two in order for the ship to split in the game. The rudder is separated from the hull's parts and propellers will not be modeled by us as Builder Elite will attach pre-made ones on Roblox. Funnels are exported individually, and so are the masts. As for rigging, it really depends on how the masts are arranged, or how many there are. But still, the fact that the ship must be able to split in half to support all of the sinking simulations in the game must be kept in mind. As for the interiors, they should not be too detailed or too plain looking, and the interior sections must not be under the superstructure. I do not know why, but that is what I was told by Builder Elite. We periodically post progress pictures of the ship in the announcement channel of the Elite Studios Discord server so you can see it come together. If you are under the age of 13, you are not allowed to join the server as that is against Discord's terms of service. After the ship is complete, looks like it belongs in Tiny Sailor's World, and is separated in the method mentioned before, it is exported to Roblox. Using FBX files, we use the mesh importer to import the ship into Roblox Studio base plate owned by Builder Elite. Here, we finalize coloring and sizing. From here, Builder Elite will check over the ship for any errors. This can include little mistakes we made such as parts of the ship not splitting apart correctly or forgetting to color certain parts. When ships are put into Roblox, they typically are made up of 70 or so parts. We and Builder have to check over each individual part so that the ship is compatible with Tiny Sailor's world. Now, my job does not involve scripting, so I do not know anything about that aspect of making ships. If you have any questions, you may comment them down below, and I will do my best to keep responding to them. If I see the same question multiple times, I will only answer it once. Thank you for following the development of Tiny Sailor's World. I dropped my phone.